Well, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have a makeup tutorial that I want to share with you guys. So for the look today, I'm just going to do a deep burgundy smoky eye makeup. And to be able to do that, I'm just going to use um, this limited edition palette by MAC. So the palette pretty much is packed with a green fabric. It does feel really nice. Um, the palette itself really light and if I open it up you can see it's got nine eyeshadow um, really 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 pretty so they got a really good cool neutral tones and also some, some darker tones for smoky eye makeup and I'm especially really impressed with this shade right here which is um, glittery light pink shade and next to it it's a really beautiful deep red shade so i'm just going to create a smoky eye makeup look today using this palette and also it's come with a duo brush as you can see so it's hard for me to tell the difference between the brushes on each side but i think that on this side it's more uh taper than the other side so now let's just go ahead and create a makeup look using this palette. Starting off, I'm just going to use Laneige Special Care Sleeping Mask just to prime my lips. So moving on to primer, I'm just going to prep my skin using Charlotte Tilbury uh, Magic Cream. Normally, I'm just using my hand to massage it into my skin. For my eyes, I'm just going to use this eye cream by Philosophy. So I really love this um, eye cream because it really gives my eye the moisture that it needed. So I'm just dabbing it onto the under eye area. And so because I'm in a tropical country at the moment, the weather is quite hot and wet. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to use a Neutrogena Shy Control Primer. So this will control the shies all day long with or without makeup. So I usually wear it with makeup to extend the wear of my makeup and it's got like a matte finish. Normally I just dab it onto the four areas of my face. And for this particular product, I'm just going to use a beauty blender to blend that into my skin. So I had really bad breakouts recently and now it has improved so much. So for foundation, I'm just going to use my favorite foundation at the moment, which is a Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And this is in the shade number 5, Warm Chord. Just one pump would cover my entire face. Now, I'm just going to use the same beauty blender and kind of Dapping it in. So as you can see this foundation's offer like a full coverage. You you don't need much of it. But you don't need much of it for one application, to be honest. I remember purchasing it for like sixty-five Australian dollars can see it's got a really good coverage like I seriously and with this foundation it really blows out my pores and also improve my skin texture um, I'm just gonna go a little bit onto the neck as well just to even out the skin tone but since I have a really bad breakouts on some of the areas so I'm just gonna use um, this is cosmetics um, bye bye breakout full coverage treatment concealer what I normally do with this is I dab it onto my acne, so I have quite a few on my chin. Well, I have them for more than a week already. I don't know why it's so hard to go away. This concealer also treats the acne at the same time, so 
it's really really great if you have been like a really bad breakout so after dapping it on i'm just wait for like two minutes so while i'm waiting i can i can just go ahead and conceal other things i recently just bought this one from drugstore so this is from revlon so this is banana shades from the revlon photo ready candid collection so with banana concealer i'm just gonna go around the under eye area and also i can use it on my forehead and on my nose so where i pretty much where i want to brighten it and then just a little bit um below the cheekbone now i'm just gonna buff it out using a beauty blender So now I'm just going to do my eyebrows. I'm just going to brush up my eyebrows using Burst Bee Lip Balm. So this is in Honey. So, so with this one, I check the ingredients. I see that you get the most concentrations of bee wax. And that's what I want because with bee wax, it can really hold up my hair on my eyebrows. So, and by the way, I'm just going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer to do my eyebrows so i'm just going to use a spoolie and i'm just going to get a little bit of burst be moisturizing lip balm i'm just going to brush up my eyebrows now so i i like to keep my eyebrows natural at always so this is what it looks like and now i'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with a little strokes just to make it really natural because i feel like it's really a trend now that you know with the messy eyebrows and of course you want everything to look natural you want to be glamorous and you know and naturally beautiful at the same time so i'm just going to give my eyebrows a little comb through again just to make sure that I soften any harsh light so I'm just gonna comb through my eyebrows again with benefit give me brows in number four because I feel like it's gonna give my eyebrows a really nice tint so that's why I use it so it also holds the hair in the upward direction but it's not as good as be wax so it's time for the eye makeup. I'm just going to prime my lid with Smashbox Lip Primer. And just blend down with a beauty blender. I open the palette. I am looking for a matte neutral tone to do my transitions. This is the only matte neutral shade in the palette. So I'm just going to use that shade right there. And I'm just going to use the brush that comes with it. So I'm just going to pack that shade into my crease and above it. So I'm just going to go in with this shade right here to define my crease. I'm just going to apply this deep purple shade to the outer V as I do a little swatch here for you. So it's a really nice and pigmented eyeshadow. So I'm just going to use the other end of the brush, which is a more taper end. And that's going to, going to pack that into the crease just to intensify the outer V. And also wing it out like this. Since I'm really in love with that shade, I'm just going to go over the low lash line with that shade again. Now I'm just going to move on with this shade right here, which is a really beautiful shade. So I'm just going to do a little swatch here for you so you can see 
this very pigmented metallic um, red shade. I'm just going to apply a little bit onto the inner corner and outer corner. And I'm just going to apply it to the outer corner on the lower lash line. And then smoke it into the outer V. So it looks something like this. Now I'm just going to apply this light pink to the center of my eyes. So this is what it looks like. It's really beautiful baby pink. I have cleaned my brush with a microfiber um, cloth. And I'm kind of dapping it on. So as you can see, it gets full pigment with the brush. And the light pinks go so well with the red shade. Now I am just have to use a different brush because that one's really get messy. After several applications, it does get quite dirty. So now I'm just going to use Sigma Detail Lip Brush. This is L04. And I'm just going to pick up the shade right here. It's a really beautiful bronzy shimmery shade. So that's gonna go to the inner corner. So now I'm just gonna use a small angle brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Um, so I'm just gonna use this matte brownish um, black shade. So that's I'm um, just gonna use that shade to line my lash line. I'm doing a little wing at the end, not overtaking the eyeshadow that I had previously. Blush it, I'm just going to apply Ardell West Base. So I'm just going to further conceal my eyes using Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Neutral to go around the edges of the eyeshadows that I just apply. I'm just gonna use a beauty blender just to clean up around that edges. I'm just gonna use a concealer to contour my face. I'm just gonna use NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Dark One, which is one shade darker than my skin tone. And I'm just gonna apply it to the hollow of my cheek i just want the contouring is really subtle something that's really blended well into my skin without any harsh line because at the end of the day you want everything to be blended well together I'm just going to set my face using Laura Mercier Translucent uh, Loose Setting Powder. I'm just going to do it onto the forehead. And especially with this powder, it can really blur out the pore as well. So I love to apply it under the eyes as well. Just dabbing it in with um, Stila Kapuki brush. And this is a very pricey brush. It costs like 80 Australian dollars. using the tie of the brush to apply the cheek products so I'm just going to use NARS um, blush in Amor that's a very beautiful shade so as it goes on it's give like a little flush to the cheek put a little bit on the, to the tip of the nose just to create more dimensions it looks so beautiful it's create like a natural flush to the skin. So moving on to the lips, I'm just gonna wire up some excess on the lips. So to line my lips, I'm just gonna go in with a really natural shade. So I've been loving this nude stick magnetic matte lip color in rose. So it really matches my natural lip color.
Um, so for the lips, I'm just going to use matte lipstick and this is in the shade Kinda Sexy. This is a really beautiful peachy nude shade and I'm just going to apply it straight from the bullet. So last but not least, I'm just going back to the palette itself and I'm just going to pick up the shade right here and I'm just going to use that to highlight my face. So the brush I'm using is Urban Decay Naked Cherry uh, Duo Brush. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to start on to the high point of my cheeks. And also under my brow bone. Just around the arc, so onto my nose, my cupid bow, and tip of my chin. So I'm just going to finish the look with some facial mist. I'm just going to use Chalik Lavender Hydrating Mist. So it's infused with lavender, so it, you feel amazing after you have it on. Like it's really soothing. So this is the final look. Uh, what do I think about the palette? I absolutely love it. I, I never get disappointed with MAC Cosmetics Eyeshadows. I'm a big fan of their products. Um, you know, they have a very long history of, you know, making eyeshadows. They got a really wide range of shades and the formulas were really amazing. Like, I wouldn't complain a thing about a palette because it's actually really, really pretty. It's, it's, you know, you can go with the neutral shades if you want to create a natural makeup look. Or also you can create a makeup look with a little bit extra like smoky eye or you can go a little bit further like what i have created today you know with all the shades in the palette that you get like a really nice result of combinations of those shades they coordinate so well they blend it so well i would complain about a thing even the, the little brush that i got with the palette i didn't like it at first but after using it with the palette i just like well, it's really, it's really, really good. But make sure that you just have to clean it with the microfiber cloth. If after each application, so that way you don't get, you know, you don't get messed up with the shades. This is the end of my tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed the look. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, you can follow me on social medias. I will put all of the info in the description box below. You can check them out. Also, if you like the videos, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, leave a comment below and let me know which videos you want to see next. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I see you next time. Mwah. Bye.